hello everybody welcome back to my youtube channel please if you are new here kindly consider subscribing to the channel but if you are old here thanks so much for coming back again today we want to learn how to design a church flyer or a church poster in photoshop and this is coming up without much ado let's jump into photoshop and let's get something started so here in photoshop to create your new document you go to file new to create your new document and i'm actually going to um, leave this paper size to eight away just because the flyer or this poster is going to be printed so i'll select print and then hit on eight away when i'm done and i'll hit on what create to create my new document the next thing to do is to hit on control zero just to keep this paper or this document centered and when i'm done i'm going to you know select my ellipse to to create a couple of circles to this poster so i'll just hit on shift left click and drag this to draw a very nice circle to this poster and leave the color to the desired color i want it so i want to use um this green color here control i just want to use this green color here let's try something so that it will work perfectly for us so control um control a and select this to centerize the circle then control d you know to deselect everything control t to transform this nice circle so i will transform this circle to the desired size i want it hit on enter drag the whole thing to the bottom of the document drag the whole thing just take your time when doing this to the bottom of this document okay so from here you press ctrl j on your keyboard to make a duplicate of the circle and change the color from green to white drag the whole thing to the top of the first circle yes just take your time when doing all this stuff and then i'll now go back to my background and add a gradient overlay to it so i have already worked on the gradient color so i will leave um the color codes in the description for you guys to you know get practice with it so this is the color code uh or the gradient color i'll be using for this particular um document and then i'll now come out to my angle and you know i'm going to change the angle from 90 to negative 168.23 and then i'll hit on enter i'll right click and select my uh at least to one copy and make sure the whole thing is centered yes so this is what i want so the next thing to do is to add a couple of text to this particular poster or document so i will hit on t which is the shortcut key for the text tool and i will left click and start typing something so atmosphere of grace 2022 atmosphere of grace 2022 control a to select all and change the font to orula or arula whatever you guys call the whole thing and then i will transform the whole thing to become very big or to the desired size i want the whole thing hit on v or go for your move to and hit on c which is the what the transform or the shortcut key for the transformation so i will have to transform the whole thing to suit um, this particular um, poster and hit on enter so i'll now come for this ruler and put it here yeah so by this i can hit on ctrl a to select all and then centerize the whole thing ctrl d to d select i'll now come back for my ruler and put one here and come for this one as well and put it here so atmosphere of grace 2022 Control J to make a duplicate of the text and then drag the whole thing to the bottom of it. Control A to select everything. So, atmosphere of grace 2022. Control A and change the font from Aurula to Acura 2022. So, you go for the move to and then hit on Control T to transform the whole thing to the desired size you want to work with so atmosphere of grace 2022 so i'm working 
with respect to the ruler i have set just because i want the whole thing or this document to be aligned with what the ruler i have set so i'll use my arrow key drag the whole thing to the bottom of the atmosphere so something of this kind is perfect so atmosphere of grace 2022 the next thing to do is to go for my rectangular tool and draw a very nice rectangle underneath the um grace 2022 so i'll have this that is where the theme is actually going to be located so i will change the color from um okay so let's put or let's set the color to something uh, like this okay so let's go for this one then i'll use my arrow keys to drag the whole thing underneath the um the test which is what atmosphere of grace so i have this i will right click on the layer and then i'll go to the blending options and choose a gradient overlay for this so i'm going to i'm still going to use the gradient i have set already so this is exactly what i'll be using so the next thing to do is to add the theme to this um poster so i'll still hit on t which is what the test tool and then left click and then i'll start um typing the theme so i will have this um god's god's grace my um sufficient So God's grade my sufficient control a to select everything and then drag it on top of the rectangle I have created control T to transform this to become very big yeah something like this and then hit on enter use my arrow key to drag it or control a to select everything and then center it as so well. control D to D select this so I'll still hit on T and then add um, the text to this. So I have second um, second Corinthians second Corinthians eight to nine. So second Corinthians eight to nine. So I'll have this, but I'm going to change the size from black to uh, bold. And also, I'll have to open the whole thing up just because I am working with my ruler. So I'll open it up to the required size I want it or to fit the ruler. So I'll have this Second Corinthians chapter 8 to 9. So I'll go for my move tool and then also drag it to this. Control C to transform this as well. So I'll drag it. To the edge of the rulers so hit on enter so i have to drag the whole thing to fit my document so i'll have this so i'll still go for my test tool and then go for the date so i have the date here which is what um 9th 9th to 15th 9th to 15th may 2022 9th to 15th may 2022 and then i'm going to change the font from acrobat to orula so i'll close the whole thing back to the desired size i want it so something like this is okay then i'll accept the whole thing in photoshop Control t to transform it is too small so Control t to transform it just to get the whole thing to the edge of the ruler i have created so i'll hit on enter and then go for my arrow keys move the whole thing to the uh to the bottom of my test so i'll have this and then next off is to add our venue so venue so we we'll have pi wc PIWC auditorium auditorium 
so PIWC auditorium so we will be having this so glory temple glory temple control a to select everything and also change the font from ovula to acrobat again change the size from bold to wear black and then i'll close it up a little bit yes i'll close the whole thing up a little bit and then i'll go for my move too or you can just hit on what v which is what the shortcut key for the move to hit on t sorry hit on ctrl t to transform the whole thing to a desired size you want it but in this case i have set my ruler so i am working in accordance to my ruler so i'll use my arrow keys again drag the whole thing to somewhere here yes to somewhere here so i'll again add another rectangle to this particular poster i will again add another rectangle to this particular poster but this time around i'm not giving it a gradient color or a gradient overlay but i am giving it a color which is what white i'll go for my hot move to or just hit on v which is what the shortcut key for the move to and then i'll drag it or i'll use my arrow keys to drag the whole thing to the place or the the the, the it right destination so i'll have this go for my test tool again and then i'll go for me his grace be may his grace be sufficient may his grace be sufficient control a select everything and then change the font from acrobat to orula as i said earlier i'm only using three fonts for this particular poster so i'll you know transform the whole thing to the desired size i want it so i'll use my move to drag the whole thing on top of my um rectangle and then i'll double click on the layer to select everything and then change the color to green yes and then i will accept the whole thing in photoshop Control t to transform it is too small it's too small so Control t to transform it to the right uh size you want it so hit on enter to accept the whole thing Control a select everything and then center it Control d to deselect Control d to deselect so the next thing to do is to you know select everything so we can group it um it's too clumsy so i'll go for my first layer and then come back for my last layer here so just hold on shift and then left click ctrl g to group it so we have group one when you own it i have this when you close it i have this as well so the next thing to do is to add my images to this and my i have already worked on the images so I'll also leave this um, image in the link for you guys if you want to follow soon. So I'll drag and drop this image to my document. So I have this. I'll hit on enter to accept the whole thing in Photoshop. I'll hit on enter to accept the whole thing in Photoshop. The next thing to do is to add an, another circle to this. So I'll hit on what? Shift left click and drag so i can have this here shift left click and drag so i'm going to change the color from um this to i'm going to, so let's use this color um yes so i have this and now i actually want to use this color so i have this Control a to centerize um this circle so Control a centerize the whole thing something like this then control d to d select control d to d select let's change the color from this to this or this which is which no let's use this color so control j to make a duplicate control j 
to make a duplicate and then control c to transform the whole thing control z to undo and then just take your time to do when doing this and then i'll hit on enter i'll now go for my ellipse to the original one yes and then the fill color to zero i'll change the fill color to zero and then right click go to the blending options and then i'll give it a stroke i'll give it a stroke and then i'll have to change the color from what yellow to white i have this and then just be playing around with this and then make sure you get exactly what you wanted yes and then i'll hit on enter as well Control t to transform it so i just want you to switch my yes so Control t i'll go for my copied ellipse to Control t to transform that as well so this is what i wanted i can still add or increase the stroke it looks so small yes so that something of this kind is okay so my test tool again and then i'll go for uh i'll go for the time so six six thirty pm 6 30 pm and then i'll change the color from this to white 6 30 pm so the color from here to what white i'll drag it on top of my ellipse to drag the layer on top of it so it can be visible so here control t to transform this again 6 30 pm so i'll have this 6 30 pm control j to make a duplicate drag it underneath of it hit on t select everything and then each night change the font from orula to um acrobat each night yes and then i'll close it up a little bit yes something like this okay from bold to what extra bold hit on v and then control t to transform it just to sit everything in the circle so each night i have this yes control t to transform it again okay so just take a time when doing this so this is what i wanted this is exactly what i wanted select the two layers and then group them by hitting on control g so we can group them and then i can choose to play with both of the um test the time and then the each night as well so the next thing to do is to add the names of the past tests here so i'll hit on t again and then i'll left click and then i'll go for p i w c in quanta p i w c in quanta the reason why it's not visible is that the color for the font or the text is white so i'll go for something like this not black but something like this okay p i w c in quanta and then we'll go for glory tempo p i w c in quanta glory tempo and then we'll open our very nice rectangle oh sorry We'll open a very nice um what's the name of this thing bracket and then control a to select everything change the name or the font to all ruler so p i w c in quanta present what atmosphere of grace 2022 control plus t to transform the whole thing to this yes then hit on enter so we have this control plus a to centerize it as well yes so this is exactly what i have for you guys today and i thank you all for watching may god richly bless you all and i am out